All right, guys. All right, guys. Here's a good look from the outside. Never mind the voices of my fellow salesman. He's showing it to another customer right now as well. This, I believe, is your propane tank. Oops. Nope. Sto okay, so this one's storage. The next one down is propane tank. It's uh, 20 gallons for the propane. Nice and big. Nope, so that's not, pro that's not propane tank either. Another large storage locker. Third time's a charm. This is the propane tank. There we go. Nice, easy access to get her filled up. Great big tank. Super useful considering that fridge is a, is a two-way propane and electric. More storage lockers down here. Oh, let's show this too. So this is kind of what I'm talking about with the awning. You can see it's kind of like come a little bit delaminated. It's not like great big holes in it or anything. It's just, it's starting to get worn out, that's all. <clears throat> um, you have it replaced. This unfortunately is not something that I don't think that we really do. I can double check with the service manager. I believe he said like new fabric for the awning would be like seven to $800. So that'd be up to you on whether or not you'd want to replace it. So you can see this one's in a little bit better condition and just got some discoloration on it, but still working just fine. And they are uh, um, manual, manual. Come around the back here. Ooh, too zoomed. Here on the back, more storage lockers. Uh, this is one more cosmetic thing. The door for the fuel is broken off and missing. Um, won't affect you though. It's you know, still got cover for it. Uh, tons more storage. Access to your, your tanks and whatnot for all of your drainage and winterization processes. Get underneath the slide here. And then a bunch more storage too. So the storage, the only thing I, you know, not super crazy about this. I like on Class A's. A lot of them have pass-through storage. This this one does not have that. The tanks are actually located right there in the middle, so it doesn't allow for pass-through storage. But still, plenty big. Come out to the front here. And I've got, uh, I took a picture of the engine from the inside because the access is actually on the inside uh, between the two front seats. So that's the exterior. I'm gonna send this along to you guys with a couple of pictures. If you have any other specific questions or want me to document anything else in particular, just let me know and I'll do it for you.